Hi everyone, my name is Giuliano. In this video, I'll show you how you can customize Microsoft Teams meetings. Look at this. Okay, going back again on Microsoft Teams and we have the preview now that is available. It's very cool now. We have this scene of OBS as, as a screen and attendees will see exactly what I built in my scene of OBS. Isn't that cool? I'll show you every step how you can define and add your scene in a Microsoft Teams meeting across NDI, which means network device interface, and one of the most famous screen recorder tool, OBS. Okay, let's go. Here I am on my PC. First off, we have to install OBS. You can just Google OBS, and as a first result, you will find open broadcaster software. Clicking on hit, you will have in the landing page immediately the ability to pick up the version of the tool according with your machine. I will go for Windows because I'm working with a Windows machine. Then you can save the file where you want, run this file in order to install this tool. Once you have done that, you can Google the NDI plugin or OBS and here you will have this link available clicking on it you will have the ability here to jump on the source code URL of this plugin click on it you will open directly the github account of this project and here you can click on this link releases once you have done that, you are able to select the version of this plugin. As I said, I'm working with Windows, so I will click on Windows Installer. Then run again this plugin and follow the instruction to install this plugin for OBS. I click it now on Open. Let's see now the procedure so and here you have just to click on next you have to be sure that you have the check here for NDI for 5.1 version then click on next again and complete the installation I already made this step let me click on cancel now we have to create an additional tool in order to have virtual inputs or virtual devices to use in Microsoft Teams let me now add a new tab here in the browser and now you can search new tech ndi you have to navigate in this website newtech.com so this link is perfect new tech ndi applications now in this page you have to scroll a little bit down and there is this section ndi tools let's click on download this will open another web page and here you have to scroll at the bottom of this page and you have now NDI tools for Windows for Mac and NDI analysis for Windows. Let's click on it because as I said I'm working with Windows. So let me click on download. Here you have to provide some information about you just to demonstrate that you are not a bot. Once you have filled out all this information, you will get an email. And this is the email that you will receive. There is a link in the body. If you click on it, the download will start and you can run this Excel file that will initiate the installation process you can click on i accept the agreement in order to go forward then you have to decide the path where you want to install this tool clicking on next i already have done this so that's the reason why i have now this message be sure that you have checked at this webcam input because we have to use as a virtual device in microsoft teams camera and microphone then you can go forward with this process in order to complete the installation. I will not go forward because I already executed every step. Let me cancel now and I will exit from this process. It's definitely good if you restart your machine now. Here I am on OBS now. Let's click on Tools. Once you have installed the NDI tool, you will have this new item here, NDI Output Settings. Let's click on it. 
Then you have to be sure that you check the main output. And finally, you can define the text that you want here. I will leave OBS, it's fine. Then click OK. Now it's time to tap Windows key on the keyboard and then you can search for virtual input. You will find this app. Let's click on it in order to open this application. Now nothing is happened, but if you click here in the system try icons, you will have this app up and running and the i virtual input. Let's click with the right button of the mouse and then you have to select your machine. Check your machine and check the OBS, which was the name that I defined just in the step before. You have other additional options that you can set here. For example, you can find the right balance for audio. I will leave zero decibel here and then video as well. You can set automatic or several resolution here. I will leave these settings. It works fine for me. Now I want to set two scenes for my team's meeting. I want to have a first scene where I can present, I can make a, an introduction of the lesson or of the session, and then I will switch on a second scene where I will present a PowerPoint. Okay, let me click on now on the plus button because I will create this first Teams custom meeting intro scene. Okay, here we go. We have now this new scene and we have to start to build sources. Let me click now in this section on the add plus button. And now here we have to add a media source because I want to have a video loop background here. So clicking on OK, I'm able now to browse the file that likely I already have on my desktop. I will set this one. Then I want to have a loop of this video. So then I will check the, the, the right checkbox and finally OK. It's time to resize this video background. And here we go. We have the video loop background now. I want to add a text as a header. OK. And here I want to write a welcome message. Welcome to my lesson. OK, perfect. OK, let me place this other here, right here. Then I need the last source, which is my webcam. Then I have to pick up this video capture device as source. Let me click on OK, it's fine. And here we go. Here I am now clicking on OK. I have now this webcam here available. What I can do here is place this in the right position and I want to have here. But now I want to make it bigger because I want to, as I said, I want to present and I want to provide a welcome introduction to my students. So now what you can do here, of course, you can use a green screen and then you can make transparent all this background. In this way, there are there is only you as a presenter. It would be very, very nice, but for the moment it's fine. So then the first scene is ready to go. It's time to set now the second one and I can click on this plus button to add the second scene, which will be my Teams meeting presentation. Then clicking on OK, I have now a new scene created. So I have to share, as I said, my screen. So then I can select display capture. I will share my entirely screen. I can select one that I already have, for example, and here we go, this will take all my screen, of course. And then I want to have, again, my webcam available a little bit smaller in the bottom right corner. 
So then I will select video capture device again, but this one I will select add existing. This new source here and I will place right here. So all good now. I created these two scenes in OBS. I'm ready now to use it in order to share my PowerPoint presentation and in order to make my introduction directly in Microsoft Teams meeting. Here I am in Microsoft Teams now. It's time to open the settings of Microsoft Teams because we have to configure devices. Clicking on the devices, we have this panel open it and we have to select new tech and the i audio as microphone because we have to capture the audio which comes from OBS. The same thing for camera, then you have to select new tech and the i video. All done here. I'm able now and I'm ready to start a meeting. Let me click on the meet button. I will create a meeting in this channel of this theme, but of course you can schedule a meeting in calendar if you prefer. So now, as you can see, we have the preview of the second scene that I created in OBS. But as I said, I want to, before to start a PowerPoint presentation, I want to have an introduction. I want to speak to the students and I want to I want to give them a welcome uh, introduction. So then let me go again on OBS because I have to select this first scene that I created. Okay, going back again on Microsoft Teams and we have the preview now that is available. It's very cool now. We have this scene of OBS as, as a screen and attendees will see exactly what I built in my scene of OBS. So now the strange thing here is that the text and the, the background video and also my webcam is flipped. So this is not so nice. Unfortunately, this is the behavior of Microsoft Teams, but only in a preview mode and only when you see you on your machine. But other participants will see in the right way your uh, your screen and what you are sharing okay let me click now on join because i'm able to start this meeting and now here i am in the meeting as li gu and li gu can see exactly the scene that i created in obs now it's not fluid the, the video because of course i have a lot of things open it here so my machine is a little bit stressed but I can show you that if I change the, the scene, now I change the scene, and if I open again the meeting as Ligu, we will see now the new scene changed. All right, that was a quick tutorial how you can completely customize your Microsoft Teams meetings experience by using NDI and OBS. If you enjoyed the video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to stay tuned with my next videos. If you want to see me cover any other topics in the future, put a comment down below. I read them all and this is also how I build my to-do list for my next videos. I hope to see you next time. Bye.